You are very welcome. I think uh, maybe I'll call this a series of games that I knew on the Amiga, but playing on other machines. <laughs> but um, yeah, here's another one of uh, those that I consider an Amiga staple, and that's Cannon Fodder. And here it is on the Atari Jaguar, a machine that uh, you know I have a lot of fondness for, particularly as it hosts a whole load of Amiga conversions. And here's another one, Cannon Fodder. So, part of the great sensible software, here's the box. So, see the artwork? The artwork is not reminiscent of the Amiga version. The Amiga version had the poppy. Um, this one has a little bit of 3D graphics of the helicopter there in the corner. Sorry, it's a bit difficult to do it invertly um, on the webcam. Um, yeah, so I got this a few years ago. It's tidy enough. Uh, see how it behaves on the great Jaguar. It's got the musical intro just like its Amiga uh, counterpart. And you've got to love the uh, mountain top. Um, oh, well, they're mountain, mountain blooming heck. Uh, hill. So uh, we've got the hill going on there. And obviously, that will. Uh, the characters that you lose will be represented by crosses on that hilltop as the game pr proceeds. I mean, one of the first differences I recount from the Amiga version is there's actually a bit more colour, I think. This is what I probably call more like a an AGA Amiga version, you know, sort of a boost in colours. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's not probably coming quite through on the uh, capture here. Unfortunately, I'm having to capture it as composite. Uh, which is obviously making it a bit fuzzy, but anyway, um, let's have a quick go and see what this all look looks like. Oh, and the uh, you know in the corners you've got load and save, which have pictures of chips, um, because I know you can save onto the cart on the Jack version. So anyway, let's have a go using obviously the Jack controller, so it's not as smooth as the the mouse. Um, there's a lot of hate for the Jack controller, but uh, I find it to be okay. But obviously this is a game really that benefits from being played on a mouse. So I'll just play a few levels, we'll just have a look at it, see what we think, but I think I, I like the colours in this Jag version. So this is a but you can see obviously when you use uh, a joypad you sort of go in, you know, um vertically and horizontally is but it's not as precise, should we say. And cannon fodder is very hard, so it is about precision really. Um, but I think it's graphically, I think it's a very good looking game. And obviously the first level just gets you used to playing the game. So yeah, this backdrop here in the Jag version here, you can see it's kind of like 3D generated characters, not in the Amiga. I think that's used in the 3DO version. So obviously we've got some more recruits now in case we lose some of our squad. Um, obviously the fellas here, Jules, Drops and Stu were programmers. I think it's Stuart Cambridge, I think. Jules, who's Jules? I forget, obviously there's John Hare. Maybe he's one of the first three. Bridge over the river, river Pi. Two phases for this mission. Okay, now if I recall, let's have a look. You can split your squad, so I'm just going to try and, yeah, I'm pressing the uh, option button on the pad. And from here, it looks as though I'm able to split the squad. So, yeah, you can do that in the Jag version, and that's relatively easy to pull off. Not that that's necessary really in this particular mission but I just wanted to check that you could do it. Um, if I press pause can I get to the map? Yep. Yeah. So that's the same. But yeah as I say I think the colour schemes ever so slightly enhanced because the bird that's flying across I think is a different colour in the Amiga version or certainly not as colourful. Damn I didn't see him. Yep, 
yeah, pray and spray. I think is one of my uh, techniques for firing in this. But obviously, that's one of the things I love about the Jag is the familiarity. So many familiar Amiga titles. And the Jaguar is exceptionally collectible now. It's fetching a damn good price. Uh, I'm really glad I got mine a while ago. Um, because they are going for a pretty penny now. Well into the hundreds, a couple of hundreds. Uh, I remember when Electronic Boutique uh, in the early 2000s were practically giving them away for 30 quid. If only we all knew, hey? Um, this is actually the second Jaguar I bought. The, uh, the first one, which I had a nice box one as well. Um, I lent to a friend, but unfortunately I've uh, probably some over 10 years back haven't been repatriated with it, so I went and bought another Jag. Um, and I think even this loose machine was about 50 quid, and you can use a Mega Drive power supply with it, so I wasn't too bothered about the lack of power supply. Thankfully the Mega Drive's power, power supply gives enough amps and uh, has the right socket uh, connector. Okay, um, looks as though we haven't killed everyone yet, so let's uh, maybe up this bridge. Ah, here we go. Yeah, the bridge has more colour. I'm sure the bridge is just a brown in the Amiga version. So yeah, phase complete. One day if I'm rich and famous, I'll work out some posher more expensive video capture gear. Unfortunately this is a hodgepodge of composite cables and switch boxes. Um, but it's all just part of the fun. Look how many birds are there. I'm sure in the Amiga version there was only about one. There's a whole flock. Crazy times using all that Jag processing power. Is it Tom and Jerry in the Jag? The, the custom chips? Look there's another five birds again. Oh yeah, you can't shoot when you're in uh, deep water. And there's birds going in the opposite direction as well, so I'm sure that little detail isn't in the Amiga. And I will connect my Amiga up one day to stream. Because the Amiga is where the heart is. The Jaguar definitely has that spirit for me, particularly with its software library. Okay, let's motor through this. We're obviously sort of jungle level. So, it's probably, I don't know if you can hear the clicky clacky of the pad, I'll put it up to the microphone. It, yeah, it's not the most attractive sounding clicky clacky noise. Put it down to spare your ears. Okay, I think this is obviously there's a hut here with um, is it grenades that I need to collect, and obviously I don't want to shoot the grenades. So you need a little bit of precision here as you approach the hut. Yes, I think another difference to the Amiga version. Yeah, I think like the river is just slightly, you know, it's like a deeper hue of blue as is the jungle forest I can't remember if I read somewhere you know I think one of the because this is the conversion by dome software so I don't think it's done by sensible that the one of the programmers didn't like one of these versions whether it's the 3DO or this version because didn't quite like what they've done with the color scheme um, but I, I personally like it you can also see here the door on the hut is uh, green I need to get, yeah, I need to get my three men. One was just stuck there. I need to get them together. And I think, yep, yeah, you have to press B and A together to throw a grenade. Even though there's three buttons on the jag pad, you still have to press two. <laughs> okay, so we're being promoted. Uh, happy days. Okay, we've got some more recruits here, and it starts to get a bit more serious, I think, from Mission 3 onwards. There we go, 
we've got an extra recruit, RJ. And I've always liked these little, what would you call them, cutros? If that's even a thing, these little intros. Uh, core blimey, it's called Gov. The little strap line for each mission. It's all personality. It's all good. Yeah, these missions start getting a lot harder on the uh, snow levels. The difficulty level really does sort of ramp up. And of course, I've got no grenades here. So it's time to get a bit serious, I think. And it's sort of. Yeah, um, this is where the control scheme starts to not play in your favour, really. Because I'm looking for precision and I'm not getting it. And of course here I'm going to have to be uber careful not to hit the hut. Oh dear, 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 I don't want to shoot the box of grenades next to the door. Okay, right. And then of course when you blow up the huts, you've got to watch out for the door or the roof, which... Oh, can you... Oh my god. Alright, well, obviously I'm not playing this as a 100% completionist, but <laughs> I really screwed up there. I really did screw up there. Sorry. Obviously, this will just be a short little little play. I think I don't know if I'm really going to be able to get too much further. Particularly after balking up that um, section. Good grief. That was humiliating, wasn't it? And I hardly reacted. Right, here we go. But I think you get the gist. I think I, I would be looking for a little bit more precision with a mouse. Anyway, I'll do my best. I'll just finish this phase. We'll see if we can get through these phases. Oh dear, this this is this is ugly. This is ugly. By the way, the uh, the birds I think are, are, are a hue of blue, so there's a bit more colour going on there. I love the way that this chap's sort of half dead. Um, we'll put him out of his misery. Oh Jesus! I wasn't even thinking. I wasn't even thinking. I just, I just fired. I mean, it's oh, I don't know. It's Sunday evening. I'm not thinking straight, <laughs> and that was terrible. I was showing my gameplay at its absolute worst. But it's all part of the fun, isn't it? I mean, I just wanted to give give everyone a, a little. A little sneaky peeky at cannon fodder. You know, what I want to do, I think, on this channel is just have a look at all the... All the uh, Amiga conversions on the Jag first. You know, and just have a little look, see how they play. And of course I've not learnt from my last mistake. And you can see the, the roof's gone and blown up somewhere else. Oh, it's so frustrating. But that's also one of the part of the beauty of this game. I love the way they skid around on the ice as well. Yeah, we'll just see if we can finish this phase. Because I've utterly humiliated myself. Let's lob a grenade from afar. And the grenade's got a, bit, a little bit of uh, momentum as well. Right, you remember I shot the box of grenades last time, so we're not going to fall for that trick. Trick or stupidity. There's a fella in the water. Dispatched of him. There's another fella there. Must be another base on there. Might be worth having a look at the map. Paused. So when you pause, you can't get to the map, but when you press Option, you can get to the map. Um, maybe due north, then. Alrighty. Let's 
So it's all it's all in this version. Okay. Oh, here he is. That's probably the last one that we need to dispatch. And done. And that was truly appalling on my part. Forgive me for my awful gameplay. And there you go. At least you get to see the 3D rendered graphics there of losing characters. I like the little um, daisy in the, that fella's hat. So yeah, quick, quick play, cannon fodder, and you can see now we've got some casualties on the on the hill. It's a decent conversion. It's a decent conversion. I have played this the one a little bit. You can see on the cart here. If I go to load, I've got up to mission five, and obviously I've given it a better attempt uh, there at not losing anyone. So that's cannon fodder for the jag. Thanks. For